Hey, that, that final minute, um, starting with your free throws at 55 seconds, or 16 points scored. Um, how, how fun was that final minute in this environment? Uh, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't fun at all. Uh, <laughs> I'm over there stressed. I'm trying to win the game. But, I mean, we live for moments like that. I mean, we, we I mean, just playing basketball is so much fun. It brings us so much joy. So, just, uh, they're a great team, well coached. Um, they got great players over there. So, we knew they were going to make some plays. But we needed to make, you know, more plays than them. And we did. So I don't want to relive the conversation you and I had a week ago, you know, the ups and downs of missing a bunch of shots in the game and then being their clutch at Nevada and being their clutch again tonight. But, the ups and downs, um, like how do you block it out to, to have a final minute like that? Um, I just continue to work. I mean, I, I stay in the gym, man, and I try to just, you know, block out all the noise that I can. Um, you know, it, in this day of social media, it's hard just because we're always on it. That's how we stay connected and stuff like that. But, man, just I, I stay in the gym. Just that, that gets my head clear of things and, um, and uh, just continue to work and get better and just continue to put one foot in front of the other each day. So. Mash, put us in the huddle when they're when they're up late, with under ten seconds to go. What's what are you guys talking about right there? Uh, we're just trying to stay calm. I mean, it's an emotional time, emotional game. Um, just stay calm and stay poised, and just play the game of basketball how we know how to play. Um, make the reads we know how to make, and uh, you know we, we we really have been focused on this year getting stops and just just really really getting stops. So though that's what our huddles is talking about: straight defense and just just collective togetherness. I, uh, I asked Coach this yesterday, but uh, it's got to be exhausting, or at least pretty trying on you guys to play one huge game after another. I mean, what's that like for you guys? You go on a big road trip, you come back and play this one. It's super fun. I mean, that's 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 what this whole Mountain West Conference is all about. And, uh, you know, we got one of the best venues in college basketball, and we, we always get excited to play home games here. And to, you know, I obviously have a ranked opponent come in here and beat, and, and beat them um, is great for us. So um, we're just happy to get the win. Keep rolling. Nash, kind of bouncing off of what Jeff touched on, you know, you said, you know, all you do is come in and work, so you know what you're able to do on the court. But coming in, getting three steals as well with six rebounds, what, what happened on the court tonight? How are you able to just execute that? Um, I've just been, just throughout the year, I've been trying to just, you know, not really focus on the offensive end, but just always trying to contribute on the defensive end. And, uh, you know, tonight it showed and, you know, you know, other nights it hasn't. But um, just continuing to get better each and every day and have the same mentality that I've always had, you know, since I've been here. So. You, uh, you hit your first shot of the game, which rattled in, and then you hit a three-pointer about five minutes later. Does, after your, your shooting struggles, were you even thinking about that? Does it make you feel better when you start uh, start off hot like that? Um, I didn't honestly. I didn't even really think of anything like that because the shots that I miss, they feel good, and you know, I work out and I, I work on my game, so I have the utmost confidence in myself. So I just continue just to take every game as an opportunity just to continue to be myself and continue to attack and and just uh, continue to get better at what I need to get better at. So that's that. JT didn't have the huge numbers, but, but Nelly did tonight. And, and you guys feeding the post is something you know, coach has been talking about. You guys have been talking about the need to, to do it a little more. Um, how good was it to see Nelly kind of have a, a game like that, a double-double? It was great. It was great. I mean, he's been he's been killing in practice. And he's been, you know, I, that's finally translated to right now and in, into this game. So, uh, you know, he's a, he's a force down there. And when he's rolling, we, we, we want to continue to get him the ball and continue to him to, you know, he creates a lot of fouls. Um, so he, he's, he's a really good player, man. He's going to continue to be a really good player. Isaiah Stevens was their go-to down the stretch. They, they got a star guard. Mm -hmm. You, Donnie, and, and House combined for the final 13 points so for the Lobos. Um, did you get worried at all that, that Isaiah was just not going to miss? And, and was there ever any thought about like who your guys' go-to was going to be at the end? Uh, no. Nah, I mean, we, we, we know how Isaiah plays. I mean, I, I've, I've seen him since I've gotten here, man. He's, he's a special player, and, you know, he can go get a bucket anytime he wants to. So uh, we, we knew we all had to be ready, um, you know, all of our guards and even our bigs, man, because they set a lot of screens for him, a lot of floppy action. Um, a lot of down screen action. So we, we just all got to be ready, you know, especially where, with a guy like that. Um, you know, he draws so much attention. And, um, no, nah, I mean, at the end of the game, I mean, we just, we just again, we want to play basketball, just flow. Whoever has it, each each and all of our guards can go get a bucket. So that's just how, that's how it is. Kind of on that note, I mean, Donovan Dent continues to shine in those late game moments. What's it like just not only being on a team with someone like that, but just watching him, you know, just continue to be clutch time and time? Uh, I've seen it. I mean, it's no surprise to me at all, like at all. I mean, he's he's a great layup maker, man. He's probably one of the best in the country that I've seen um, and just 
making layups at his size and stuff like that. So I'm, it's no surprise to me. I mean, he's a great player and he, he works on his game and he's a, he's a good kid. So he's going to get rewarded for that. So how did Philly get that shot up the glass? You talking about a, a delay? Yeah, yes, the last. Um, I mean, I was just trying to get fouled. Honestly, we were in a double bonus, so I was trying to get to the free throw line, and um, you know, they they didn't stop me, so I had an easy layup. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Nash, when you get to this point in the season, so late, you're playing teams twice in a row. We can nitpick pick all these stats and things, but does it come down to just trusting your guys or your team and just kind of executing when it comes down to it this late? Definitely, definitely. I mean, we we needed we needed this game like as much as anybody, and I know they needed this game too. So it's like we have to continue just to make plays down the stretch because we know things are going to get broken down, switches. You know, it's, just, it's basketball. It's just a game of imperfection. So. Um, definitely, if we could just stay together and just make sure our huddles are great, communicating together the right way, um, we'll be just fine during this. And that, that, that's who wins games in this time of March and in these late February. So, yeah.